What? Oh my God. Your mom is alive. But, but you, you told us your parents died in an accident, right? <coughs> How could I have told you I killed my father? And my mother sentenced to life imprisonment because of me. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful people. Still on the Real Woman Reality TV show. Today, we are taking our beautiful young ladies through the exercise of letting go. I'm sure you're wondering why letting go. For some of us women, there are experiences we've gone through in life. Experiences that hurt so bad. And until you let go, you will not be free. Today, we are saying we are letting go of the bitterness. We're letting go of the frustration, the anger, the depression, the hurts. We are saying today is time for forgiveness so that we can be free as the birds in the sky. We want to be able to soar so high like the eagles mm -hmm. so that we can achieve all that we're supposed to achieve as real women. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. It's like our beautiful ladies are having their siesta. Mm. In this hot afternoon. <laughs> that is how hot the issue we have at hand looks like. Mm. Hello, ladies. Are you ladies sleeping? Hello? Please, everybody, come out. You can have your seats, please. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you all? <laughs> the sun is hot. Okay. It is significant. The issue or the tax we have for you today is as hot as the sun, and that's why we're here to present it. I will explain. We have a new tax for you ladies. And the tax is telling your own stories. Mm -hmm. We all have stories to tell. I have my story to tell. And I know each and every one of you have your stories to tell. Stories that until it is told, you will not be at peace with yourselves. And also, you will not be able to forgive those involved in your stories. Usually, we women in Africa go through so many things. But because of the society we are in and the stigma related with such issues, we are silent. But today, we encourage you to speak out, speak out so that others will learn from it. Not just learn from it, IJ. We want them to tell their stories to sensitize people. Mm -hmm. You know? And you might not know, telling your stories will change lives. Okay, so can we hear your stories? Can we start from you? <laughs> Comfort Simon, what's your story? Listen. The idea of making you tell your story is not to make you feel bad. At all. It's to make you move on. Mm -hmm. Okay? You leave the past behind you and you move on. Headlong. As a real woman. Until you do that. You have things dragging you back. Yes. And we do not want anything dragging you behind. Let it out. Tell your stories and be free. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Let it out, dear.
my story is a sad one. I killed my father. <laughs> I told you that the guy is so mad that you wanted to give me that. Oh. Hey, mama. You girls are looking so beautiful. Lord have mercy. Thank you. <laughs> what are you girls up to? Oh. What are you guys enjoying? That's a little bit of dancing and dancing. Okay, in the spirit of um, celebration, why don't we, you know, do something, baby? What do you think? Wow. Mm -hmm. What's that look on your face? <laughs> I got something. I I put it the other time. Where is it? Where did I keep it? Okay. Um. Okay. Here it is. Oh my God! Wow! Say yes! Say yes! Say yes! Annie. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. You're the total expression of feminine perfection. And each time I look in your face, all I see is the future, our children. And I can't be complete without you. Please make me complete. Will you marry me, Annie? Say yes. Say yes. Mike, I love you very much. And I wish I can say yes, but I'm sorry I can't. Wait, wait, wait. I, I don't understand. You, you, you can't do what? What's the problem? You don't like me? Mike, like I said, I can't marry you, so just leave. Look, Annie, I've been so good to you. My mom loves you so much. What's the problem? Mike, none of that is the problem. Just leave. Are you what? Go away. You can go for him if you want. What? Can you imagine? Ha! Hey. Anita, you have a problem. <laughs> who in her right senses will tell her own best friend to go after her fiance who she just turned down his proposal for no good reason? Anita, you are heartless. Come on, Monica. Don't be too hard on her. There must be a reason for her refusal. The only reason for her to do that is madness. She has absolutely lost it. <laughs> Anita. What is going on with you, for God's sake? Eh? We are your only family now. And we are so concerned about you. Eh? What is it? How 
do you expect me to accept the man's proposal? Well, my mother is in prison. What? <laughs> oh my God. Your mom is alive. <laughs> but, but you, you told us your parents died in an accident, <laughs> right? <laughs> How could I have told you I killed my father? And my mother sentenced to life imprisonment because of me. Wait, wait. I'm confused. How did this exactly happen? What happened? I've lived with the guilt for so long now. And will die with it. I don't want to get anyone involved in this. Not even you, my best friends. Anita, <laughs> Anita, don't push us off any further. <laughs> we are your family now, yes. so we are in this together. <laughs> if you can only tell us exactly what happened, <laughs> we can help your mom get out of prison. Exactly. <laughs> that will not make any difference. Why? Because she has been sentenced to death by hanging. Oh God. Oh no. I grew up watching my father beat my mother constantly. Each time he beat her, she ends up in the hospital. Our family gave up on her when she refused to leave my father and her neighbors too. Apparently, I was the only person she has got. <laughs> that fateful day, my father beat my mother so badly that she almost gave up. Ha, ha, ha. 
intention to kill my father. I only wanted to protect my mother. I know. I know. <gasps> but you would have told your authorities the truth. You did that out of self-defense for your mother. My mother forbids me from saying anything. She admitted to the crime. Pleaded guilty. And was sentenced. <laughs> You now know why I cannot get married. No, that's that. not true. Don't say that. That's not true. Because once you agree to tie the knot, the circle starts repeating itself. It doesn't work that way. For me, the idea of marriage only represents bitterness. Domestic violence. <laughs> and eventually death. <laughs> it's okay. We're your family. It's okay. We love you. It's okay. It's okay. It's For more inspiration, keep watching The Real Woman Reality TV Show. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, like, and also comment. Thank you, thank you, and thank you very much.